Welcome back to Jetline Marvel for another thrilling aviation episode. Russia is on the brink of advancing its aircraft industry in response to Western countries' sanctions on aerospace components. They are developing a potential competitor to Western aircraft, such as the Boeing 737 MAX and the Airbus A320. The Irkut MC-21 and the Airbus A320 are both narrow-body, single-aisle commercial aircraft designed for short to medium-haul flights. While the Airbus A320 has been a long-standing and widely used aircraft in the aviation industry, the Irkut MC-21 is a newer entrant that aims to compete in the same market segment. In this video, we will conduct a comprehensive comparison between two notable aircraft, the MC-21 and the A320. Join us as we delve into each section to gain a better understanding of these aircraft and their capabilities. The MC-21, also called the Irkut MC-21, is a cutting-edge contemporary narrow-body twinjet airliner built in Russia that was created and manufactured by Irka Corporation. The MC-21, which made its first flight in 2017, is a technological be amazed at its advanced aerodynamics, fuel efficiency, and roomy, passenger-friendly cabin. The well-known narrow-body twin-engine Airbus A320 is now a mainstay of the world's aviation fleet. Since its introduction in 1988, the A320 family has come to represent efficiency, dependability, and state-of-the-art technology. Airlines can choose the A320 series as a flexible option for short to medium haul routes. With its unique wide cabin and sophisticated fly-by-wire control system, The Airbus A320 stands out as a popular aircraft in the narrow-body segment, offering a range that spans from shorter distances to longer routes. Airbus has extended its capabilities with the introduction of the much-anticipated A321XLR, designed for extended flights. The aircraft showcases breakthrough technologies that contribute to its overall advancement.
notably, Airbus has experienced a higher number of orders for its narrow-body aircraft compared to its competitors. The A320neo, or new engine option, represents a significant leap forward. It boasts new engine choices, allowing airlines to opt for either the Pratt & Whitney PW1000G geared turbofan engine or the CFM International Leap 1A engine. In response to past challenges with one of its engines, Airbus is gradually transitioning to CFM engines. The previous engine-related issues resulted in setbacks for airlines and manufacturers alike. This shift underscores Airbus's commitment to addressing concerns and ensuring the reliability of its aircraft. The A320neo, an enhanced iteration of the A320, is a testament to Airbus's dedication, incorporating cutting-edge technologies and more fuel-efficient engines. This evolution aims to improve overall performance while aligning with environmental sustainability goals. As per reports from Russian sources, the Irkut MC-21 has achieved a milestone by successfully concluding over 160 test flights powered by the PD-14 engine. Furthermore, the aircraft's wing has undergone a comprehensive test cycle, demonstrating positive endurance results. The PD-14 engine, developed by the United Engine Corporation, has played a pivotal role in the aircraft's success, complementing the domestically produced composite wing. Recently, Ural Airlines director revealed the carrier's intention to acquire 40 Irkut MC-21. For its fleet, this announcement signals a noteworthy shift in Russia's aviation landscape, as many airlines in the country are considering the adoption of domestically manufactured aircraft to replace their existing narrow-body planes sourced from Western countries. This move represents a significant milestone for Russia as it endeavors to establish a more prominent presence in the global commercial aviation sector. While Airbus, with its extensive worldwide customer base and a substantial number of airplane orders, may not feel an immediate impact, the potential loss of the Russian market could pose challenges. The MC-21's success in the Chinese market in particular, could present hurdles for Airbus, given its significant market share. Despite facing sanctions on Western components, Russia continues to operate its A320 fleet, showcasing its resilience in meeting current and future demands for aviation passengers. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.